Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experiential video. We are at Martin Dyes Jr. State Park down in the the Texas Big Thicket area, Southeast Texas. There's actually more annual rainfall here than in the on the Olympic Peninsula. Hard to believe, but it results. It gives us a very unique ecosystem and Martin Dyes Jr. State Park really is a unique place. Because of that, we are on Lake B.A. Stinningham. It's not a real deep lake. On average, it's about eight foot, eight feet deep. I was here five years ago. We were camped on the other side. This is actually one of the one of the highest. It's not the biggest state park, but there there are there's almost 600 campsites in in this state park. So it's one of the highest campsite count state parks. It's always it, it's going to be in my top five. This is just a really special place. So this we, we arrived yesterday. We hung out with some friends, some duders. Some of my duders hooked up with me here. This morning I, I got in the Tuck Tech kayak and I paddled around because we're actually on an island. So I circumnavigated. You'll be seeing that footage, some of that footage later. We're gonna kick this off with a just a site overview. I guess it's one of the better sites. It is site i can't even remember what site is 500 something <laughs> 528 site 528 50 amp and water asphalt pad fairly level and we're still having leveling system dysfunction so having a level site's a good thing we don't we don't have to put the jacks down uh, and right now the jack on the driver driver's side front it's not work. I digress. Pretty level pad, asphalt, very level site, easy to navigate. We've got a concrete picnic table, place to burn some wood and cook a steak. We have the, <laughs> oh, we're camping in style. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook or, or trash bag holder or baby swing holder or or whatever else you need to get up off the ground. Fairly clear shot of sky. Let's look at that beautiful magnolia tree. Man, that's just so awesome. Good shot of the northern sky, so Starlink is flying. And we are right here by the water. Although, we don't really have water access. There's a pretty sharp drop off, and then there's weeds. The lake, B.A. Stinningham, it is on average about eight feet deep. So this lake during the summer gets very warm up into the 80s. So this park doesn't get a whole lot of camper traffic during the hotter months of the year. So if you like camping when it's hot, like we do, we like camping when it's hot or cold, this is a great place to come because you can always get a good sight. Now in the winter, this is a this is a snowbird park. And the only only really bad thing I have to say about this campsite, and I think this is going to be universal across all of the this at least this part of Martin Dyes Junior State Park, is the the fire ants are horrible. Last night we were we were hanging out here. And I walked, I was standing on the asphalt, and man, the fire ants were just eating me up. So, uh, it's a big park. Let me gear up, and we'll get on Sable, and we'll go see some Martin Dyes Jr. State Park stuff. We'll go see some stuff. Martin Dyes Jr. State Park has some very, very nice, well well done handicap sites. I don't have a whole lot of them, but they, 
there are several on this loop that are really nice. So we're gonna go check out the facilities. There's two stall, two, two shower stalls. And this actually is your handicap, so you've got a high and a low. And then you have eh, pretty good flow. I mean, they're not great. These are these are the old style Corps of Engineer because one of the few Texas state parks where you still are on the honor system with the firewood. You want to do a park host job? They got a slide open just for you. Let's go see. A, let, let's go see if we can find a boat ramp. So if you're headed to the boat ramp at Martin Dyes Junior State Park, just know there may be some kids on seesaws in the road. <laughs> Actually, there's a kind of a, a bit of a playground here in the in a day use area. Uh, the, the day use area has, has has seen some some challenges with trees collapsing. And they do have some swing sets. I, I've not seen any seesaw, but there are those cool swings that you can go real high. And yeah, don't jump out. You you might break something. My boat ramp fans will be very happy to know. There is actually water at the end of the boat ramp. And there's a man fishing there, so we won't disturb him. But they, they want you to catch fish. And I know that because they have an alligator proof. Oh, speaking of, there are alligators in B.A. Stenningham. Haven't seen any yet. Hoping to get some footage, but they want to keep the alligators out of the fish cleaning station. It probably helps keep the raccoons out too. All right, let's, uh, I don't know, let's go see some more stuff. If you're looking for a place in Southeast Texas to hold your family reunion or other group event, Martin Dice Jr. actually has a couple of group gathering facilities so this is this is the one on the north side of the park uh, it's currently under renovation and of course the doors locked it's sunday so apparently they don't have any reunions going on today now you know all right let's go see some screen shelter stuff so if you want to take advantage of your state parks and and, and get out and sleep in the great outdoors but you don't want to invest in an rv and you don't want to sleep in a tent, then you'll be happy to know Martin Dyes Junior State Park has quite a few screen shelters. And, and oh, by the way, don't leave your fire burning unattended. Put it out. The, there's, there's water. I don't have a bucket, so I don't have any way to put it out. But this, there's nothing better than having a screen shelter with this as a view. I mean, that is, that is something you can launch your kayak right here. Let's take a look inside this screen shelter. Where's the campground host? He, somebody should have come through and cleaned that. Yeah. Nothing elaborate. You got a picnic table, a concrete pad, but best of all, bug screen. And, and trust me, you want bug screen here. The mosquitoes, the, I think they're tiger mosquitoes. Yesterday, middle of the day, they were biting me. All right, let's go across the road. Don't want to sleep in the screen shelter? Don't want to sleep in a tent? Don't have an RV? No worries. Martin Dives Junior State Park actually has cabins. Air-conditioned cabins. And somebody has just left this one. It is nice and chilly. You'll need to bring your own linens. Oh, and something to sleep on. But there's an air conditioner. And it's actually chilly in here. Moving right along. We got places to go and things to see. We got stuff to see. Martin Dice Junior State Park 
is, is actually has a paddling trail. So if you're, if you're into paddling trails and you want to get on the water, but you don't have a boat, worry not. They have canoes aplenty. And there's also kayaks as well that are available for rental. To rent a kayak, you do have to be over the age of 18. So if you got some teenagers that are wanting to kayak, mom and dad got to rent it for them. Let's go check out a kayak launch. So if you're interested in, in putting a kayak in the water, you're going to want to go to the kayak launch. Ooh, there's a good, good shot of it right there. It is a concrete kayak launch. And, and it's the start of the paddling trail. So this part of the state park is, this is actually an island. If you go that direction, it'll take you under the bridge and out toward the main highway. And you can circle around and come back in through there. What I did this morning was go under the fishing bridge and then come back up. And I found that I wished I had gone that way first because it's, it's a cypress tree forest. It's a slough, and there's a slew of trees. If you go this way, you go out on the lake. I wish I had gone through the trees first. So, anyway, let's go get a, a let's go up on the bridge and take a look at things. What a commanding view. So when I when I was here five years ago, the the vegetation mat was so thick you couldn't get a boat under here. And there was a flow of water coming through this slough that was I mean it was a current. You couldn't paddle against it. So if it's you're here following if you're here after a really heavy rain, just know that uh, you're going to want to paddle that way first because that's the way the water flows. Yeah. All right. There's some people launching a kayak right now. Let, let, let's, let's go see what else we can find. Let's go see some more Martin Dyes Junior State Park stuff. One of the things that I find to be a little bit irritating about the about camping here is on this side of Martin Dyes Junior State Park, to dispose of your trash, you have to come all the way down to these dumpsters. This is where you get rid of your trash. Or from our campsite, that's about a half mile walk. Just know, that's where the dumpsters are. All right, let's go see what else we can find. It's a little library. In case you get tired of looking at Mother Nature, you can, you can go read some books. This is the bird blind. When I was kayaking this morning, I saw several big herons and cranes, big birds. And I don't see any of them represented on there. Looks like somebody needs to come out and give a little tender loving care to the bird feeders. Because there's there's no bird feeder, there's it's just it's in total disarray. Where are the scouts? All right, let's go across the way. Just love these huge magnolia trees. All right, so this is a, a very shallow lake, so much so that they want to let you know, don't dive but they do have handicap accessible access to the swim area, as well as a place to rinse off after you've bathed in this dirty water. 
my boat ramp fans will be happy to know there are four boat ramps on state park state park property here at martin dies jr state park there's three on this side so there's this one there's one out by the highway outside of the park gate and then there's one on the other unit and then there's one at the other on the other side of the lake so if you take the state highway across there's a boat ramp there but that's currently closed because they're doing some road construction on the state highway okay now you know let's go see some more stuff the bathrooms are pr pretty much identical to the other side of course it only makes sense that they're identical all right let's go see some more stuff So, on this side, they actually have an automated kayak rental station, whereas on the other side, you, you would rent your kayak or canoe from the office on this side. <laughs> kind of strange how that's set up. All right, moving right along. If you're coming to Martin Dice Junior State Park and you need a pull through site then the hen house unit is the side for you downside it appears that they all have 30 amp pedestals no 50 amp at, at least not on this side all right but that don't you only need 50 amp when it's hot and you got to run two air conditioners okay let's go see some more stuff good morning from martin dies junior state park I got that beautiful, beautiful glassy water. I really love this Texas State Park. It's one of my favorites. This is our second visit here. First time on this side of the park. The fire ants are horrible. Just know that. Make sure you bring some fire ant treatment with you because they're all under this concrete table and they're all under the asphalt pad and when you're cooking at night they will eat your feet up ask me how i know <laughs> so <clears throat> the only and th there's only two things that i find less than desirable about martin dies junior state park first one is the fire ant situation the second one is that, that that highway and i know we have to have highways uh and i can be kind of picky about my campsites but there's a lot of road noise from the trucks on that highway currently the bridge out there is under construction getting here coming from the west was a uh, a scary situation because they've got a little concrete corridor that is like nine feet wide that you drive through it is just as wide as <laughs> and you can see where uh cars and trucks have been rubbing those concrete barricades that's scary stuff when you're driving a big motor home and pulling a f-150 pickup so when we depart we'll be going the other way the upside to that bridge construction is they have it down to one lane and there are lights at either end of the bridge so traffic stops for a period of time as the the light cycles and people drive across the bridge so you end up with clusters of noise and then it gets quiet and then you get a cluster of noise and then it gets quiet so If that bridge was not under construction, it would be nonstop road noise until late in the evening when traffic dies off. Such a beautiful place though. Well worth the visit.
the restrooms could use some some upgrading. Other other than those three things, the you know restroom quality. I'm just kind of rambling. I like Martin Dyes Junior State Park a lot. I especially love those beautiful trees. Big pine trees. Big magnolia trees. Big oak trees. Just such a huge biodiversity here. I like it. It was fun hanging out with some friends. It's always nice to hook up with your RV friends. But well, we're done here. It's time to move north. We got to be in the Tyler area. Yappy has a function up there in a few days. So we are going to trek north and visit the other the other Texas State Park that has Martin in the name. We're going to go to Martin Creek Lake. So this will be the, the Martin theme <laughs> Dude RV show. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps a lot with that YouTube algorithm thing. And you'll want to remember to hit that bell as well so you'll be notified when the Martin Creek Lake video goes up. That's what that bell is for, so that you never miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. Your attention is most appreciated. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. That's, that's why I'm here looking at this glassy water prior to departure. Thank you for that and for our patrons. Your generosity is most appreciated. You guys rock. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear? We'll see you down the road.